Aquarius, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Your Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for January 2021. So Happy New Year, as I'm saying on all of these. Goodbye 2020. Hallelujah. Sayonara. Hallelujah, I was thinking. No, sayonara. <laughs> um, letting 2020 go. About time and start this fresh year and let's do this so um, I do a general reading only check your Sun Moon rising Venus signs and any number synchronicities and also any angel numbers that you might want to Google and have a look and see if um, those synchronicities come up and see if there's extra meanings there cross watchers are welcome thank you for everyone liking and subscribing I'm trying to get to 600 by the end of the year I've got 585 this morning so click that like and subscribe button please and um, get me up there <laughs> so um, what else click the notification bell I do weekly readings monthly readings quick fire reading each weekend and also I've uploaded the yearly readings for 2021 for each sign go to my channel click the playlist tab and everything is in there in their own little folders and um, yeah check it out there Okay, so Aquarius, we will start. It's yours. I've got number five, Bat Spirit. A rebirth is assured. I love bats. I live in Queensland, Australia, and we have fruit bats, and I love the silhouette at night time when they're coming in. Beautiful. But a rebirth is assured, so yeah, a new beginning of some sort, clearing all the crap out, um, and going for this new start, new beginning. Love it. Okay, Aquarius, you get full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Okay, so rebirth is assured for this new start, but um, whatever that dream is, needs a practical plan to be put into place. January 2021 I nearly said Taurus because I was just looking at that Moontology card <laughs> full moon and Taurus but Aquarius we will begin hmm. okay overall You've got the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, it's upright. So this wheel is um, good luck, good fortune coming your way, moving in your favour, giving you that forward momentum, propelling you into something brilliant. <laughs> your dreams, but they still need a practical plan. <laughs> okay, your present energy is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, slowest card of the pack. So whatever this dream is, be patient it's crossed with the Sun okay so it has the potential to bring you all this happiness and joy but um, be careful not to give up too early because it is um, slow moving okay in your strength area you've got the ten of Pentacles reversed okay so upright is starting to see the success and happiness and all the stability there when it's reversed you're still waiting for that success to come into sight it's still on its way as we said with the knight of pentacles patience it's still happening <laughs> even though this wheel's turning in your favor um, make sure there is patience there i'm not a very patient person so um, that comes into play there <laughs> Focus is four of chalices, it is upright, and that is a focus card. It's 
tunnel vision focus though it's like you're just concentrating on one area and you're not wanting to look at what else is happening around you when actually these other options out here may actually be bigger and better in the long run so just check each um, just check each cup out be aware of what else is coming on offer around you Okay. In your past energy, you've got temperance. It is reversed, could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but things may have been getting out of balance. Um, you may have been in and out of a situation, hot and cold, on and off, and it wasn't evenly balanced out. Things were, That momentum was not flowing. So um, I'll clarify that shortly. Incoming energy, seven of pentacles. They're still out of control. Things are out of control here and getting messy in some areas. Okay, upright, you're getting things together, falling into place. There's always loose ends to tie up. You get something sorted, something else comes up. But when it's reversed, everything is not in order and it's not happening the way you want it to. So we'll have a look at that shortly as well. And it may be where this practical plan needs to come into place. What you need to know, Seven of Swords is upright. So maybe some sort of minor deception and that you need to walk away from something first in order to get these cards back up right again um, you're aware of it maybe aware of it and um, pick up what serves you and move forward leave what doesn't serve you behind but it's also says saying watch your back um, in some situations so that may pertain for some of you too how others see you is strength, but it's reversed. Could be dealing with a Leo, so they don't see you as um, a very strong person at the moment. And I'm just going to say at the moment. You have got bat spirit where this rebirth is assured, and we may be able to clarify and turn this up right. But at the moment, probably because things seem to be all over the place with that card reversed there, it doesn't look like you're in control of a situation and... Um, others see you as not having that strength at the moment to to carry through these plans and again there you go put your dreams into this practical plan put something in place there so Aquarius your hopes and fears is the Queen of Swords okay so you're wanting all this honesty and open communication being up front clearing the air okay you are very strong-willed and it's like sometimes cutting the air because it's like this is how it's going to be it's like sorry but this is how it's going to be okay so sometimes brutally upfront and honest but having things out in the open and expectations out there on the table and your final outcome is the nine of swords so a lot of overthinking a lot of stress and anxiety and when things aren't falling into place when or how you expect that does cause a lot of overthinking and a lot of stress and what's going on and everything there so again get the practical plan in place there and let that spirit come in that rebirth is assured so this there is a new beginning of some sort that is um, that can happen or is going to happen for you and it might be bigger and better than what you even thought to start with so Aquarius we're going to see what the clarifications have Okay, so we're going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune. That is upright. So actually overall for the reading, it's moving in your favour. It just might not be happening um, as quick as you want it to. As I said, I'm not a very patient person, so I know what that's like. <laughs> so Aquarius, I've got, <laughs> got the Sun, Knight of Cups and the Six of Cups love it so the wheels moving for you to bring you this freedom of release happiness joy everything that you're wanting right there maybe new love that you're wanting you may be coming in and offering this love to someone or somebody may be coming in and offering you this love it doesn't have to be um, a new love it can still be an existing love and a new step up in love 
for some of you it may be an extra turning so um, six of cups is a reconciliation card but it could also mean a friend or family member you haven't seen for a long time due to the year that they've that we've had um, is coming back into the picture however it's also the fond memories happy feelings butterflies in your tummy feelings around love of some sort there so love that beautiful so I'll clarify your present energy is the Knight of Pentacles. How many came out? We're going to take those because they flew out. The Star, Ten of Wands and the Death card. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius here with the Star or a Scorpio with the Death card. And I like it to either, either side of this Ten of Wands burden. This cycle's coming to an end. Love it. You felt like you've had to carry the whole load yourself on your own. Okay. And you're wishing for some assistance, some help, something to get your dreams into this practical plan where you're not carrying it all on your own. Okay. Death card. Releasing the old and letting the new chapter begin. Rebirth is assured with Bat Spirit. Let that chapter begin. And... Um, love that it's crossed with the sun that, that area so we're going to clarify that the devil the empress and the seven of wands so yeah feeling chained and stuck to an energy that you can't move forward any further negative toxic energy could be an addiction of some sort it doesn't mean that it has to be you it could be somebody close to you or working around you you're very intuitive you're very aware of what's going on with somebody else and um, maybe even within yourself there's persistence there don't give up okay if you're trying to break these chains here don't quit don't give up keep going for it okay your strength area is the ten of pentacles reversed eight of pentacles strength and two of cups so again a lot of focus on work focus and dedication but don't shut everything else out that you're not because um, you're just concentrating on one thing here and everything else may fall out of place because you're so focused just on this one area here strength everything takes strength whether you're leaving something whether you're starting something whether you're putting dreams into, into a practical plan or a practical plan into dreams maybe um, rebirth is assured new beginnings everything takes strength love takes strength but there is love here okay so maybe somebody with you already maybe new love for some of you but somebody's on this journey with you love it beautiful so four of chalices in your focus area seven of cups judgment magician keep an open mind when you're looking at different options of things as i said don't be so focused on one particular area okay check each option out carefully and one that you didn't think was suitable may actually bring out the better and the bigger and better result does that make sense um, but look at each one carefully keep an open mind when you're looking at all those options there and you're manifesting this clear beginning where, you, where you're choosing the right options um, who doesn't want that and um, love it so make sure you do check each one out carefully keep an open mind and keep that manifestation going keep it realistic and keep it going that's your dreams and um, yeah put that practical plan in there so your past energy you got temperance reversed ace of pentacles the chariot and the two of pentacles all about balance as i said reverse things are getting out of balance you're on and off hot and cold and everything there you've now got two balance cards here with the chariot and the two of pentacles okay maintaining that balance lets that chariot move forward freely um, if you're pulled in different directions if your chariot's pulled in different directions it breaks apart it doesn't work it doesn't happen and that's where you end up with this reversed um, okay but upright you've got the two balance cards there for this new beginning love it here's your rebirth is assured here's your successful new beginning right here awesome love that Aquarius incoming energy is the seven of pentacles reverse so everything's going out of place six of swords king of cups six of wands love it balance again the two sixes either side and either side of the king of cups 
which is actually balanced because that's st stable among all the rocky waters around you okay but movement that is a movement forward card could be moving overseas to another town to a new job anything you're wanting to do it in secrecy some of you don't want others to know there is that love and stability behind you king of cups very much in control of your emotions love that brings you out in this victory love it beautiful that will turn that seven pentacles upright where things are starting to fall into place beautiful okay aquarius what you need to know seven of swords this deception two of swords the world and the five of cups it's left you feeling at a crossroads where you're not sure which way to go take that blindfold off and look at things carefully see things clearly for what they are and make your decision from there the world's turning in your favor you've already got the wheel turning in your favor over here as well you now got the world moving for you that's turning for you allowing you to let go of this loss and this grief that you've had in the past that you're still focused on and look at what else is behind you okay these this wheel will turn this turn you around here and see this other loving energy behind you there okay so you how others see you strength reversed high priestess the lovers and the queen of wands so there's somebody significant here with you as we said it could be dealing with a gemini could be somebody significant you're with now could be somebody new soulmate twin flame high priestess um, as i said could be a gemini for some of you could be a pisces here with the moon card you're closed off you're not wanting to open those doors let everything come flooding in all at once it's like no but you're being very observant still watching what's going on around you okay and that brings you upright here with the strength brings that upright and you have that courage and determination now to go after your dream and after your goals putting that practical plan into place love it right aquarius hopes and fears is the queen of swords king of wands queen of cups and the four of pentacles so again holding on to something but maintaining balance while you are holding on to something a bit materialistic maybe but you've got the king of wands so you've got the queen down here and now you've got the king so a power couple there there <laughs> i don't know what i was saying um but again that confidence to go after your dreams you know what you want you're very stable you're very level-headed and you know that this is what you're going for got that loving nurturing energy with you as well again stability around your emotions and happiness there okay and still holding something within is not wanting to open those gates as we had with um, the high priestess so you're not wanting to open up um, completely to somebody at the moment you're clarifying queen of swords which is all about openness and clarity but it's not um, harmful to still hold something within to start with um, because you don't want to give all your ideas and things away straight up so we finish with the nine of swords this overthinking and stress that's your seven of pentacles four of wands and the ten of pentacles okay so things are falling into place okay this may be the stress and anxiety when there's always loose ends to tie up as i said you put something away back here and something else will fall out Okay, that always happens but you're getting that stability and that commitment and strength there okay that solid foundation could be a marriage proposal for some of you step up and commitment of some sort maybe a new um, job that's more stable brings you success whatever it is you're coming in with the success here that's going to release this overthinking and that stress and anxiety that things aren't working for you yeah that, yeah it is okay that so we'll see what the universe has to say queen of chalices knave of chalices king of chalices wow aquarius there's love i know you don't know these pictures here but all of these court cards around the chalices the cups all around love queen knave and king it's almost like mum dad 
child. Okay? It doesn't have to be, but very strong energy when it comes to love, comes to stability, comes to your emotional happiness. Um, you've got it. Love it. Beautiful. Okay, Aquarius, so we'll see what Star Temple has to say. Yet number 15, the awakener, rise. Out of the ashes, I rise like the golden sun. I absolutely love this card. Okay, star words, spiral, awaken, soar. As the awakener, Electra appears to those who have been on a slippery slope of self-sabotage, only to awaken, rise out of the ashes, soar into the stars, and ascend like the golden sun. The university of life has taught you a lot. You, have made, you may have even hit rock bottom, but your soul's growth has been accelerated due to the hard-hitting knocks and tough life lessons you have experienced in the past. Surrender any regret with self-compassion and know that you are back on your higher, happier and golden pathway. Stronger and wiser, you soldier on with confidence. Love that. Beautiful. So Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Love it overall and um, hope it helped. Click the like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. See ya. Bye.